Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Now, as many of you already know, I am a huge, huge fan of buying small cap altcoins that are built on top of top tier ecosystems, all right? And Polkadot definitely is one of my all time favorites personally, all right? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five different various Polkadot related projects that I am personally extremely bullish on for the long term. And when I say long here to long term here, you guys, I'm not talking about three to six months from now, okay? I'm talking maybe two to three years from now, okay? I am bullish on these projects for the absolute long term, all right? Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, if you are interested in trading and would like to try the same exchange that I use, feel free to go ahead and try out the Maxi Crypto Exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. I personally love this exchange because one, they don't deal with all the drama that Coinbase and Binance deal with on a regular basis. In addition, they allowed me to trade crypto futures. And in addition to that, I'm a huge altcoin nerd, as many of you already know, and they have over 1,500 different altcoins for me to invest in whenever the heck I want, okay? So, Here's the thing about Polkadot, all right? The thing about Polkadot is Polkadot is extremely underrated. And guess what, you guys? That is the exact reason why an altcoin nerd such as myself absolutely loves this layer one ecosystem, okay? I mean, honestly, realistically, you know, as far as price potential is concerned, it didn't do, you know, a 100x like all the other layer ones have, but it did do a healthy 10x. And I'm fully hoping it'll do even more than that, you know, in the next bull cycle, hopefully. Um, but that's just me speculating, you know, since I'm, you know, not a fortune teller or anything like that, right? All right. But anyway, I am a huge fan of the Polkadot ecosystem, and for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, you guys already know that I am a huge fan of buying small cap altcoins that are built on top of top tier ecosystems like good old Polkadot here, okay? So here are the five small cap Polkadot projects that I am extremely bullish on right now, all right? The very first coin that I'm going to be talking about here is actually my absolute favorite in the Polkadot ecosystem. Well, it's kind of in the Polkadot ecosystem, and it is called Moon River, okay? Which many of you already know has some absolutely insane long-term growth potential, all right? But other than price potential is concerned, Moon River isn't actually built on top of Polkadot. It's actually a parachain of Moonbeam, Moonbeam which was built on Kusama, okay? Uh, which Kusama was built by the same people who built Polkadot, okay? Now, this might sound kind of confusing to some people, but Moon River is intended to function as the canary network for Moonbeam on Polkadot, okay? And if you're not familiar with what a canary network actually is, um, on a super basic level, here you guys it's basically just a testing environment for projects to safely test features and functions that they intend to be implemented in their dApps before being shipped to shipped on moonbeam okay now, as far as Moon River's mover token is concerned, um, it plays a key role in maintaining and operating the Moon River network, and it's used for paying transaction fees, supporting smart contract execution, and facilitating Moon River's on-chain governance mechanism as well, all right? Overall here, you guys, Moon River shows some pretty darn good long-term earning potential as dApps, NFTs, and other projects continue using it. I mean, it's, its efficient design and features alone add many, many, many advantages to developers across the globe, all right? So now that you know a little bit about Moon River, let it, let's move on to the next project that I am extremely bullish on, all right? Which is going to be a project called Pokestarter, okay? So, Pokestarter, you know, at the time of me filming this video right now has a super duper low market cap, okay? They've got an extremely low market cap and it definitely stands a chance to make some big, big gains in the long term if the Polkadot ecosystem ever decides to, you know, explode someday, all right? However, as far as the actual price is concerned, Pokestarter is basically a decentralized, uh, as far as the actual project is concerned, um, Pokestarter is basically a decentralized funding platform or fundraising platform uh, empowering Web3 projects to launch and raise funds through multi-chain token pools while also growing their communities at the same time. All right. But that's not all, folks. All right. Their native token, Polls, it acts as their utility token, and its main utility is used for gaining access to various pools and giving projects the option to give priority access to, you know, Polls holders as well. In addition, users are also incentivized to stake polls. That way they can get rewarded as well. 
overall, Pokestarter is one of those low cap projects that's built on top of a top tier ecosystem that I always talk about. And if you're, you know, if you're looking for long term gains here, I'm no fortune teller, but I can, you know, I, and I can't see the future, but this is one solid choice to rack in some gains if you, you know, if the Polkadot ecosystem ever decides to take off, all right? Now, the next project that I'm going to be talking about here that I'm super bullish on would be Linear Finance, all right? Which is pretty much a platform that uses synthetic assets to support transactions without the risk of slippage, all right? And through its, its functionality, it provides users with access to both traditional and digital assets, all right? Which spot cryptos as well as commodities, okay? What's cool about Linear Finance, though, is that it stands apart from other DeFi platforms simply because it's cross-compatible, all right? Uh, it's cross-compatible, uh, cross-compatible, non-custodial, and uses a Delta One asset protocol. And its functionality is executed through its, you know, four native applications such as Linear Vault, uh, their Linear Swap, Linear Exchange, and Linear Builder as well. Overall here, you guys, Linear Finance is a cross-chain compatible platform that pushes the DeFi space forward, all right? And between the availability of physical and digital assets, low gas fees, and other features, the platform has already gained quite a bit of attention, all right? And it will definitely gain even more attention as the blockchain space grows as a whole over time, all right? So onto the fourth Polkadot project that I am extremely bullish on, we have got Karura, okay? Karua is a scalable EVM compatible network that's optimized for DeFi, all right? And the platform offers a suite of financial applications, including a trustless staking derivative, a multi-collateralized stablecoin backed by cross-chain assets, and an AMM DEX as well, all with super small gas fees uh, that can be paid pretty much in any token, all right? In addition, you guys, I should also note that Karua and Akala are often called sister networks, okay? They're often called sister networks, and this is the, re the, the reason why is because as Karura is building the DeFi hub for the Kusama community, Akala is building the DeFi hub on Polkadot, okay? Also, these networks will be running parallel to one another, similar to how, you know, different branches of, uh, you know, companies open in different countries to meet localized demands pretty much, all right? There's really, you know, there's definitely a lot more to say about Carrera as well. But again, um, I will save that for, I'll, I'll, I'll save a deep, I'll save Carrera for, you know, a, a completely separate deep dive video, okay? Uh, but overall here, Carrera is built to meet the various demands in the Kusama and Polkadot ecosystem by providing DeFi hub services for the community as a whole, all right? So... Now we're going to talk about the last project, the last Polkadot ecosystem project that I'm extremely bullish on, which is none other than Polka Bridge. Okay, Polka Bridge is, you know, it's an extremely low market cap coin coupled with a very low maximum supply of just 100 million tokens. Okay, so realistically, if this project ever takes off, it could seriously, guys, it could really, 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 really skyrocket. Okay. Now, as far as the actual project is concerned, you can probably already guess what it is. And if you guess, you know, if you guessed it being a bridge, then ding, 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 um, you definitely guess correctly. All right. Polka Bridge is a decentralized cross-chain protocol um, that's designed to act as the primary bridge between Polkadot and other and other blockchains. And for those of you who aren't very familiar with what an act, what a bridge actually is. To put it in basic simple terms, terms, a bridge is basically a tool that allows you to move coins from one blockchain to another. So here's a quick example if you're still confused. Let's say you have a bunch of USDT and it's on the BNB chain, okay? But you want your USDT to be on the Ethereum blockchain instead, okay? A bridge solves this, all right? With a bridge, you can basically convert your USDT on BNB chain over to USDT on the Ethereum network. Um, there's a lot more to it and it's more in depth, but that's pretty much the basic bare bones example of how it all works. So overall here though, you guys, all five of these coins that I just mentioned in this video have some insane price potential, okay? Especially if they ever take off. And they're extremely under underrated as well. And the biggest reason why, in my opinion, is because standard crypto investors who aren't very tech savvy, um, you know, they have a hard time understanding what some of these projects are all about. But that's, you know, that's pretty much why I exist, because I try my hardest to explain all of these, you know, different types of projects in the most simplest way as possible, all right? 
So if you guys have any questions about any of these projects, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I love helping people. Um, it, literally any questions you got whatsoever, you guys. But overall here, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the comment section down below of my future videos.